hey guys welcome back to my channel for those who are new my name is essa and i am so glad to have you guys here so i have just moisturized that's my face looking shiny but today we're doing a haul and um so we're doing a bag haul so quite a while back i got a voucher from junior uh for 2500 shillings and i instead of just buying one item i thought to myself like what what could i get that would make me feel like this 2500 shillings was worth a lot so um at the moment i really wanted bags and i've told you guys so many times that i am a cross body bag girl like i like those tiny bags so i went and checked on jumia and then i wanted to see how many bags i could get for 2500 shillings uh so i got the bags the packages i have just uh removed them in the packages just so that it's easier to go through every bag uh and then so that it doesn't take up a lot of time of me opening up the bags and the packages all look the same so without further ado let's get started so the first bag i got which i have actually already used i went to tanzania with this bag uh, is this really cute pink bag how cute is this i really liked just how uh simple it looks but then there's also the detail of the rhinestones here and then the color i really love the color this is how the back looks like and then the straps so the straps come separately of course and then you just tie them in to secure so you tie them in according to how big or small you want the bag to be and then the inside is really simple so there's just two pockets this one where i mainly put in my money and then the main pocket where you can see this stuff inside so there's not much uh, so that's how it looks like the quality is really nice um for the amount of money like I, I was trying to check my junior to see how much i ordered the bags so that i can be able to let you guys know but as of this point the prices have gone up so i guess this video is a bit late but um this is just to show you guys that you can still go and find a lot of bags at cheaper prices i'm sure there's still so many bags at cheap prices so this is the first one it's actually the only bag i've used and then next we have this really simple black bag so the strap is supposed to go in supposed to go into that and that's how you secure it really simple this is how the side looks like so you can actually it has space to put quite a bit of things um what drew me to this bag is basically the black with the white stitching it's just like the, the stitching was standing out and then we have the strap inside there's a place to place the straps in there I haven't, like I said, I haven't used this one, so that's how it looks like. The pocket, just one pocket, no other pocket. So you just throw everything inside, and that is bag number two. So if I find out the prices, the actual prices that I bought the bags for, I will definitely put the prices on the videos so that you guys can compare how much i bought them for and how much they're going for right now and you can decide how you want to buy the bags but the one thing that i can assure you guys is that i got a total of six bags for 2500 shillings like i didn't spend more than 2500 shillings i didn't want to spend more than that voucher so all six bags well, less than 2500 shillings so if you just do the math so in on average um if you just divide that on average the bags cost about 
400 bob which is not bad uh the third bag we have is this transparent bag i've always wanted a transparent bag and um there was the option of this color and pink and because i was taking the pink already i thought i would try out a different color so we have the chain here that you can adjust so you can try it in so many ways and then the main pocket on the inside so like again the theme of the bag is they don't have many inside pockets which I, I totally don't mind but the sizing is very good it's much bigger than my hand which means it can fit the phones so that's good so bag number four is this bag I was trying to go for as many different colors as I could possibly get so there's this one that um, when you put in the straps it's supposed to look like a mini school bag so that was really cool so the straps are on the inside and then what I liked about it was the gold detail on the zip and just this just the small two details of gold and then that's what the inside looks like no pocket yeah no pocket on the inside and then but you have at least a smaller pocket right here for the two coins or any notes or anything that you want so this one is pretty much bigger than the others but still not so big it's still not so big so it is just the kind of size that i like and then it also has a lot of space because if you expand that you'll see that you can be able to carry a lot inside so that is the fourth bag the fifth bag was this pink in color uh, with the floral and butterfly pattern really nice and cute the place for the straps and then just a simple block on the inside is black and then you can see the chain the gold chain so that's what the chain looks like again no pocket on the inside and yeah that's pretty much all this is this stitch here but i think i'll be able to remove it yeah i'll be able to remove it without affecting the bag so yeah that's pretty much it very simple bag it's small but can still fit my phone so i like the small bags as long as they can fit my phone so i'm just i'm just trying to see if it can actually fit my phone because it feels smaller yeah so my phone is inside so that is bag number five Now for the final, the last but not the least, we have this brown bag that has the straps already on but very small and very cute. This one I don't think will be able to fit my phone. Yeah, my phone is much bigger. Um, but I really wanted something this small, just tiny and nice and cute and that's what the inside looks like. Um, but mostly I think that these bags are a ripoff for maybe designer bags um, because I've seen other bags that look exactly like this but look a bit better not that these ones are not are not good quality they are good quality but the ones that I've seen are maybe bigger or better quality like the material itself 
would be maybe leather so these ones i think are ripoffs but i am not complaining for the price i am not complaining so that is bag number six i think yeah bag number six um that's what it looks like on the side In case you haven't noticed the nails, let me just show them off. <laughs> yeah, so that is bag number six. So that is all the bags I got. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys a different option because I have shown you guys in many hauls the bags that I have bought for a uh, hundred bob, a hundred bob or fifty bob or so those are bags that I've gotten from Gikomba. So if in case you're feeling like you want to have new bags in your closet but you don't want to spend a lot of money um, I wanted to give you guys the option of also just checking out from Jumia um, there are so many options so many options like I think I uh, when I was adding to my wish list I had probably around 15 bags of less than 500 because I was looking at prices of less than 500 so I had around 15 bags and these are the ones that I had to just pick to narrow it down to that um, 2500 so yeah that is it for this haul pretty short but i hope that it has taught you something i hope that you guys will go check it out or check out jumia um this video is actually not sponsored so i don't even have a voucher code for you guys but um with those prices i don't think you need a voucher code uh so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you'll come back for more um Please do remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell so that you can get notifications when I post. And if you have any questions or comments, don't forget to comment. Um, if you need any information on the bags, I will either put it on the video or on the description box. Um, don't forget to share if you have a friend who likes bags. And then come again next time. Goodbye.